Party all day, party all night. MDMA, Charlie inside. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no, it's not right here. Sick. Bro, give me some because I have fucking haven't had a vape in a day. Why don't you have? You have run out. You're a fiend. <laughs> well, you know they're making those vapes illegal. Yeah. In October. So I'm trying to wean down. And then I did order some, but they haven't come yet. So I'm fucked. So I'm itching. itching. The only thing that's fixing me right now is a flavor wrap combo. You know, you talk a lot about this flavor wrap combo. I need to go get one, I think. Maybe I'll go get one after. All right, well, let me get comfy. Let me take my shoes off. What? What? Bring the episode in. It's your, it's your turn. Do you want me to bring the episode in this week? Yeah, I do odd numbers. You do even numbers. Okay, that's cute. Hold on, let me take my shoes off. People can just wait. I have a massive foot fetish here. Do you? Yeah, fucking take your shoes off. I just have some, some, some new kicks, by the way. Some Reebok pleasures. Mate, you've had them for like a month. Yeah, but... That's a tasty vape. Yeah, mango flavor. Blackcurrant. Anyway, we've been going for a minute now, so yeah. it's time to bring it in. Episode 22. Damn, we're getting up. That's my age. That's actually fucked. 22. <gasps> Honestly, when I started this, I was like, there's no way I'm making it past episode 10. Why? Because I always start things and then never finish them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Sounds a lot like me. I never really commit to stuff like this, but it's good. No, yeah, no, it's fun. Maybe it's because I came along and I was like... Oh, if you hadn't come along, I wouldn't be doing them every week. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and, so. and people out there listening, right? Don't be messaging me saying like, oh, I didn't realise you re- release an episode every week. It's a podcast, It's dude. a podcast, bro. Like, Joe Rogan does them every like day, every two days, doesn't he? Like every five. Every five no, days. No, sorry. It does one every... I think it's it comes out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday for us. Because over in America, it's a day behind. Yeah. It's pretty much every day, I'm pretty sure. I don't really follow it that heavily, Joe Rogan. Mm. I'm pretty bad with him. Yeah, I don't really watch much anymore. They're, they're, long, they're long podcasts. They are. Like some, of, There are some interesting ones. Like, if I listen to them, they're all interesting. Mm. I just like, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the music lately, oh my God, bro, today was actually f- fucked, bro. My what release you, radar. Oh, on Spotify. Bro, it was, oh, <laughs> it was so good, bro. Release radar. I haven't checked mine. In. Oh man. Oh, well, we're getting into a bit later, but I'm telling you, the gods have been they've been fucking they've been watching over me. Eh? They've been like, <laughs> Finny, you deserve some good music, <laughs> and they have produced, bro. It's fucking <laughs> party all day, party all night. MTV, <laughs> Charlie and Son. All right. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, as you can see, we have two new members to the to the team. Korg, if you haven't watched Thor, I can never say it. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. And you Avengers n- Endgame. You need to fucking cry because the best fucking one. He's the funniest character ever. Yeah, and we got um, our Lord and Saviour, Black Panther on the right. Rest in peace, Rest King. Rest in peace. Um, we're going to get a few more. Yeah. Um, we have the new setup. We're going to have them all in the back. Yeah, yeah. It's Call me a sick. fucking nerd. I didn't care, bro. Oi, I, oi. I'm proud of it. All right, you listen here, right? Okay, I was about to take one out of the box, right? And this man was like, what are you doing? You don't take him out of the box. What do you mean, bro? Did you know they were bobbleheads? Yes, I knew they were bobbleheads. How does anyone know they're bobbleheads, bro, when everyone keeps them in the fucking box? It's a toy. Like, I don't reckon... Yeah, the, but it's like it's a collectible. I don't reckon the value of these things will go up by the time we're alive. Maybe in, like, the future. I don't know. But like I said, you have to have the full collection. <laughs> fucking... They're bobbleheads. That's actually fucking insane. You know what we should do? We should open it one on fucking the podcast. And we'll put the title, Open the Pop Box, and see how many fucking dislikes we get. All the nerds. I <laughs> think... <laughs> Why'd you open the collectible? Why'd you, why'd you open it? Dude, I love going to Zing and looking at them, bro. I've never been in Zing. You've never been to Zing? No. Are you fucking mad? Are you fucking mad? I love that place, bro. Every time me, Jam and Dill go to the carousel, yeah, we always go to Zing. Don't Jam and Dill... Yeah, they hate it. They just like see me be a little loser in there. Just like froth over everything. What's in there? Everything. Like, bro, they have the dark saber. 
<laughs> it's like 450 bucks. Holy shit. That's where I bought all my dad. Like, I bought that Boba Fett helmet. Oh, Tom, bought, fucking... Tom bought me the Boba Fett helmet for Christmas. But I bought the, my dad the Iron Man helmet. Are there fucking Marvel statues? Yeah. Oh, cunt. <laughs> yeah. Take me there. They're expensive, bro. Uh, yeah, I was looking at some online. I want the, the one of um, Iron Man flicking. Oh, yeah. And he's on the ground. And I saw it was like 200 bucks. Mm. And it was like fucking... There's some cool Spider-Man ones. And there's a sick Catwoman one there. And she's got some... Who? Tennis. Catwoman. Oh, Major Black Widow one. Mm. In Iron Man. Sexy. In Iron Man 2. I don't know if you just heard, but my jaw just cracked when I did that. My I was jaw's... gagging. Huh? I was gagging. Sick. He's going to hear a pop and a gag. Like... <laughs> 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 Fuck. All right, so what have you been up to this week, mate? Anything interesting happened to you? Yeah, mate. It is a Friday, though. This is the first time we're, I'm actually recording on a Friday. Yeah, fuck PNC. Yeah. <laughs> everyone records on Fridays. Yeah. Even the even Oh, do the they? Dylan Jammer oh, do, yeah. They do too, don't they? Yeah, so maybe we can have it out a bit earlier this week. I'll try and get it out like a Tuesday or something. Yeah, you fucking you'll piss off Evan. Or When's it? Tuesday. Or night? I'll say Tuesday, but it won't be out till fucking next Sunday. Yeah. Is that camera straight? <laughs> fucking shit your mow is. Oh fucking whatever. <laughs> All right, we'll start again. All right, my week went fucking quick. <laughs> quick? Quick. Okay. Quick, like, where, how did Friday get here? Because um, Friday got here because we went through Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, Thursday, I understand that, you fucking clown. <laughs> Bro, I'm not, i like, what have I done this week? Oh, okay. Nothing exciting this week. I got into streaming a bit more. Um, but I tell you what, yesterday... Fucking banged, banged, bro. So, went to the gym. Got heaps of cramps in my legs. I'm just such a fucking animal, bro. Been going too much. So, I was like, fuck, I'm tired. So, I, I knocked off 15 minutes earlier. You know how it is. And then, I went to the shops. And I did my grocery shopping. I went home and I vacuumed. And I mopped. And I dust. Actually, I went dust, vacuum, mop. Actually, I tied it up. <laughs> dust, vacuum, mop. Okay, dad. <laughs> and then I had a shower. And then I cooked my frozen meal. And I put... And I had a soup with it as what well. What frozen meal did you have? I had a chicken thing with veggies and mashed potato. Cool. And then I had my soup, my chicken bickies. Chicken bickies. Oh, yeah, your yeah, drumstick. yeah, your drumsticks. Yeah, drumsticks. So and good. I sat down on my nice clean house, started watching Netflix, and I was like, fuck, I am a loser. <laughs> what do you mean? Bro, like, if you have seen like a movie, right, what and they mean, have like loser? the frozen meal... They look all sad and depressed. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they're like, hell lonely. It's like a like a 28-year-old lady in an apartment in New York City. <laughs> yeah. She's just like sitting there. Or some like cop that's just got home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's what I felt like. I fucking was like, fuck yeah. I felt so productive today. Mm. I was like, I was like, yes, cunt. This is going to be so clean and everything. And then I was like, fuck, I suck. <laughs> but when you woke up, they felt good. Oh, bro, I woke up to a clean floor. I was like, mm. With no hot water. I had to have a cold shower. No hot water. I had no hot water in my house. Why? Because hot water system's fucked. <sighs> yeah. But there is something good about today. Before by this, this episode comes out. Oh, yes. Sex Education Season 3, baby. <laughs> Sex Education Season 3. Hun. I'm actually fucked. Bro, since January last year. Has it been that, that long? Since that long, right? Shit. Okay, so for anyone that doesn't know, Sex Education is my favourite show. It's like my... My fucking what do you what do you call the shows? Comfort show. My comfort show. So like I've watched it like I think five times. Okay. In a row. Mm-hmm. I think the worst I've done is three times in a row. I haven't watched anything else. Because, fuck me, bro. I remember when it, season two came out last year, right? Mm. And I was living with my mum still, and I and I had a TV in my room, and I stayed up all night and I watched it. Right. I finished it like five o'clock in the morning, right? Five thirty, right? And my sister gets up hell early, and I walk to the kitchen, and I'm like. And I was like, just like grabbing a coffee. And I was like, I was, and then if you watch season two, spoiler alert, Otis and Maeve don't kiss. I know. Or they don't get together. And this fucking crippled fucking guy in a wheelchair. Ruins it. He deleted the voicemail. Yeah. He's like, I love you. Yeah. And then he deleted. I was fucking furious, bro. I I walked out there and I grabbed my fucking coffee and my piece of toast. My sister's like, morning. I said, fuck off. (laughs) I told her, fuck off. And I felt so bad. Yeah, I remember watching that. I remember watching that and I was just like, yeah, that sucks. Oh, bro. And then I was like, I have to wait a whole year and then COVID happened and they delayed the shooting and now it's only coming out now, but it's all right. Because it's coming out today, Lockie. It's (laughs) It's actually already out. 
I'm going to go home and I'm going to get ready and all the crew's coming around and we're going to get burgers and we're going to watch it. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Tonight at 4.30? Mm. No. At, that's at like 5.30. I'm going to okay. take Janita's bike because she's got a tour to the fridge. Oh. Yeah. What well, about you? How's your week been, mate? Enough about me. Well, much. we actually haven't talked about last weekend. We haven't talked about last weekend yet. Because what? when we normally talk about... We normally film on Sundays and then talk about our weekend. What did we get up to last weekend? We had a big weekend. We went to the wine tour. Oh, I hung remember? out with you way too much last week. We went to the wine tour. Oh, bro. We went to the wine tour. Oh, yeah. We had Hudson's wine and tour on Friday. Sunday. Oh, my God. I... Oh, no. We talked about Friday last episode. What did we? When did we record? Saturday, Saturday right? Yeah, so no, we talked about Friday. Friday. Yeah, so yeah, Sunday. Okay, yeah. we went on a wine tour. So what did we do Saturday? I can't remember. We did something, right? Oh, I went, I, fucking, went I went to yeah no we didn't see each other for no. Saturday night I went to Frio I missed you so much yeah so I don't know if you watched the last podcast but if you watched I left some notes on Bro, the screen I um, shit when I saw that eh? so I put I bet back to myself and I said look I'm watch me end up at Metro's next week I went to Metro's I, I remember you're like I watch me I'll end up at Metro's and you're like I was lol yeah, I um I rocked up at Metro's. We went to um we went to Federal first, and then we're gonna go to Newport. But the um the line was fucked. Yeah, because of the footy. Newport line moves pretty quick. Yeah, because of the f- no, because of the footy. Oh, People true. went to the Federal watch the footy because it had the big screen outside. Yeah, but because of the footy, was Benny's um, like impossible. Oh, everything was fucked. Yeah, the only place that wasn't packed was fucking Metro's. That's because everyone was inside. Fair enough. Was the line fucked still for Metro's? Not too bad. But we had VIP. We snaked a VIP. Nice. Yeah. Fucking, um, yeah, and then Sunday, we had the wine tour, 10 a.m. in the morning. It was dope. It was dope. I didn't mind a Sunday wine tour. Next time I'm booking a Sunday, or a Monday off. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you went to work. Well, I was break. like, I've been doing switchboards, right? It's easy work. I sit down on my ass, do two switchboards a day, right? Start 7 a.m. And this one time, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to book it off. I don't need to. I'll go hungover. Boss rings me. He goes, hey, mate, I need you in June Club at 6 a.m. Uh, this is fucking karma. Yeah. But I did it anyway. It's all but yeah, I got... I had this thing in my head um, on Saturday night that if I drank vodka tonics, or gin and tonics, sorry, I would be all right the next day. That's so gross. <clears throat> Incorrect. I like to hear people's comments about this because I reckon gin and tonic tastes like fucking shit. No, but this shit. is what I do. I get, a, I get a lime and I squeeze in it. It just tastes like lemonade vodka. Why did you get lemonade vodka lemon. then? Because I didn't want to get fucking smashed. Because I didn't know tonic water had fuck loads of shit in it. It's fucking shit. Tonic water sucks for you, apparently. I didn't even know. Yeah. I just thought tonic water. I was like, oh, sick. I can get drunk, but be hydrated at the same time. The best thing you could probably drink is soda water. Yeah. Like vodka. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be drinking tonight, probably. What's tonight? Well. Where are you going out tonight? Mm. What? We're going out tomorrow. We're going out both. You're going out both. Why don't we have both? I no, stop it. No, you, I already told you why I'm going out tonight. Yeah. Oh, you, what? Are you, are you going oh. clubbing? Well, I don't know yet. Probably. <laughs> you won't make it clubbing. You want to bet? You have to like sense this part. You're like fucking. <laughs> 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 no, but um, my my highlight of last weekend was okay. So one tour was sick. Sunday was the best day of the weekend for me. Mm-hmm. So I went to the pub. We went to the Bentley oh, after the wine tour, and I just sat down, and I was hungover all day, so I could not eat a lot, right? So I had like two or three party pies at the wine tour at one of the places. Well, before you go, bro, <laughs> bro, those platters, I'm talking- Yeah, they were Don's. Cheese platters, pizzas. Oh, bro, at the fucking- Did you see what I was doing with the pizza? Yeah, yeah. There was a three cheese pizza, right? And anyway, I was going around to people, and I was like, look, mate, you want my fucking special pizza? And they were like, no, nah. I was like, look, mate, it's got my fucking cum in it, bro. <laughs> I got one fuck? person to eat it. What the fuck? One, it worked on one person. Yeah, wasn't it Sam? Can yeah, you get was. Sam? Yeah. <laughs> no, he ate half of it and I chucked the rest in his drink. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we went to the wine tour. I'm, I'm really sad because I didn't get my money's worth in terms of food, which sucked because I was so hungover. It's probably my, it's my own fault. But I felt sick after. That's how much food I ate. Mm. But um, we went to the Bentley afterwards with a um, couple, couple of the squad. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got a chicken burger, average burger, but fuck me, I smashed it. You did, bro. I was eating right. I was eating. I was sitting there eating, and everyone rocked up. And Janita and um, Zach rocked up, right? Well, everyone rocked up because they all yeah, rocked up together. Yeah, yeah. So I was sitting there eating, 
And then Janina comes and sits right here. Yeah, she does that. She was like right here. Yeah. And I was just like, I was like mid-day. I was like, are you right? And she goes, yeah. She's pretty smashed. Yeah, she's no. like, yeah, pretty good. And I'm like, cool. And I just kept eating, but she's right here, bro. Yeah. And then she pinched one of my chips. I was like, is that why you sat so close to me? She was <laughs> like, nah, nah, nah. I was like, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. But yeah, no. Nah. Then we went back to their place, didn't we, afterwards? Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, went to Spud Shed, We mate. went to Spud Shed first and we got some like barbecue stuff. Um, cause they all ate, but I didn't already had food, food. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was just such a good night. It was, I got home and I was just, I was in such a good mood. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, this shit is like, I don't know. Just like, it's awesome. Eh? I haven't had a one night in like a long time where I've just been like, damn, I'm so happy right now. Yeah. I love my group. Hey, yeah, we do like, so well spud shed and we always have a Barbie fucking drunk as fuck. So I felt so like mm. comfortable. Like, Oh bro. When stone was under the table oh. for Jenga. <laughs> oh, in his fucking cart. Remember fucking he idiot. was like mute. You're on mute. And he kept yeah, talking. And he kept he like, talking. You can't fucking talk. And he's like, nah, bae. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nah, All right, I reckon that's enough. Of Actually, that week. hold on. Oh, I got another story. Did you get a Snapchat from stone this week? But his chili bin. Fuck under Oh <laughs> Bro <laughs> Surely not. Where did bro. you leave it bro That's bro. what I want to know He sends me a snapchat oh, He yeah. must have I've got, it, I've got well. it as well Yeah yeah And he goes Fucking hell Someone shut on my chili bin <laughs> <laughs> Here is a human shit On his Next, chili bin He's like Looks like a bender shit But it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> I just lost it bro Fuck Yeah that's what you haven't been living in Belmont <laughs> mm, mm. But anyway that was it was a good week. It was a good week. I needed Sunday. I needed something to just boost my mood because I was a bit last week. Yeah, but yeah, no, nah, I feel a lot better. Very thankful for your group. Yeah, and yeah, no worries, we could. Man. But yeah, next weekend we're gonna have a large one. Next large weekend. seasons grand final. Oh, cunt. It's gonna be large. Oh, okay. So. Let's start new topics, right? Let's start the topics. Sure. Okay. So, uh, me and, you know, Jordan, my yep. gym buddy. Yeah, fucking. Mr. DeCruz. Mr. DeCruz, Jordan DeCruz, shout out my boy. So, him, his two other mates and me, right? We were like, all right, we're going to get in the, you know, we're going to start queuing up and getting the tickets, make your accounts and shit ready for the grand final. Mm. We're like, we might as well just try. I'm like, sure. All right. So, I got, so Jordan was like, the queue started and I got in there at 9.32 and Jordan was in there before me, right? <clears throat> I got, I think I got 16,000. You said four to me. Okay, that's one. Stop. I got 16,000, right? Yeah. Jordan started before me and he was 90,000. What the fuck? Anyway, his mate was 4,000 in the queue. So we're all on like on a joint call, right? Yeah. And he was like, I'm 4,000 boys. I'm getting there. It's going down. We're like, fuck yeah. Like, you're our only hope, right? Got in. He's like, yeah, I'm in, boys. I'm in, boys. <sighs> sold out. Rough. 4,000 from 10 a.m. Yeah. They sold out in nine minutes. That, well, that's what everyone's kicking up about. Because I was so confused why everyone was so mad. Like, I saw a post and it was like, oh, grand final tickets sold out, blah, blah, blah. And people were like, oh, fuck the AFL, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like... Why are you all having a sook for? It's like unlucky. Like, but then I saw in the comments is like there was people in there from nine o'clock who were like, like you said, like ninety thousand in the queue. Mm. How the fuck does that make sense? They should have done line up. You had to line up at Optus or something. Oh, that would have been mayhem, brother. Yeah, fucking bros and shit. And they can't do that because of COVID and shit. Sure. But like, um, yeah, we or well, none of my my group got any. None of my boys yeah, got no, any. Like, I don't know anyone that got it. Yeah, so yeah, there know. was a bloke at work who was sitting in the line in the queue from nine o'clock in the morning. He got to work, start booted up his um computer, and he sat in there. Did he get one? No. You kidding? No. Didn't get one. That's so fucked. He got through after it all sold out, and I was like, dude, it's not gonna go through. They've literally just posted it sold out, and he was like, fuck, that's so annoying. Yeah, who got it? Look, who out of like ten thousand tickets? Not enough. Well, I mean, for two, for, I don't know how two Eastern teams. Sold 50,000 tickets. Because people from over East sold their barcodes, membership barcodes to people here. Well, how did we not hear about it? Because it's not legal. Yeah, but how did we not find out about it, though? Oh, f- like, I easily would have taken some. Mm. Surely at 11,000 followers of Jammo and Dylan, someone messaged him about a barcode. 
but not one, bro. But fucking 50 year old granny down the road can fucking get an easy barcode from fucking someone over hey, east. Evan, I think it was Evan said like in the group chat, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm fuming. I bet you there's one girl that got a ticket just for Bailey Smith to see Bailey Smith play. Oh, fucking, not even, <laughs> fuck me. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, I reckon it was, it was a shit sh- system the way they did it. Oh, I think there should have been shit, a way better. There should have been like a thing for, say, you know how Filth does like first release, second release, third yeah. release. They should have done that. Yeah, definitely. I agree. They should have done that. Um, by the time the episode comes out, the next one will be after the grand final and seasons and all that stuff. Yeah, it will be. We'll, but we'll record before that. But so we've said this before. We definitely think it's Melbourne's going to win. Eh? I'm back in Melbourne. I'm yeah. back in Melbourne. I think they're a strong. But Bulldogs are hot right now. I fucking both are really fuck hot Bulldogs, right now. Bro. Yeah, they're both. Hot. It's got. I hoping for a close game. What about the Brownlow? Who are you backing for the Brownlow? Because I don't follow this much this year. Eh? Well, I've got no idea who the fuck these people are. The Brownlow's in two days. I put money on Jack Steele this year. It's so fucked, bro. Because I used to all know about the Brownlow people. I don't know any of these fucking cunts. Mm. Who mm. the fuck's the cut from Melbourne getting it, bro? Who is he, bro? I didn't hear about him once from on Melbourne. the news. Clayton Oliver. Yeah. Who the fuck's that? Mm. He's done. Port Adelaide. He's actually been around. Who's the guy from Port Adelaide? Ollie Wines. Yeah, don't know. Fuck, don't know who that is. Jesus, Vinny. I know. I think I was going to the basketball more. I lost. Yeah. Like, that makes sense. I reckon like three years ago or two years ago, I had the top four picked for Brownlow and I have I got five, 600 bucks. Really? Yeah, because I got the top four. It's when Crips and shit tied. Oh, man. Would have got way more but they because they tied. It was... Who, who won it? <laughs> you just like... Someone won it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, it was that year that Crips got tied yeah. tied with Dangerfield or Dangerfield got second. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm back in Jack Steele this year. Nice. Because so, they won, I was I was looking into it. Look, they won ten. Fiend. They won ten games. He was probably best on ground for all ten of those. That's thirty votes right there. Who's he play for? Saint Kilda. What? No way he's gonna win it. Is he up the top? To Bro, win? he is a fucking jet. Are you sure, people? Like it's up there. Yes, he was fourth favorite. But you got to think. He's paying eight dollars to win it. Okay, so how many Saint Kilda won ten games? Yeah. Okay, but you got to look at fucking like Bulldogs or Port. They won fucking... Yeah, but if Bont gets three votes, McRae will get two. And if McRae gets three like votes, Bont will get two. People still... A lot, a, lot the, thinking. a lot of people that from St. Kilda, because like, they didn't win a lot of games, they don't get points at all, even if they lost. A lot of the, Yeah, but even in games where they lost, whether it be close games, he went off in a lot of games. He's going to get a lot of three votes. How much is he paying? $8. The favourite's $3.75. He's like fourth so or fifth favourite. Yeah. yeah. So I'm backing him this year. He's been my he's been my smoky from the start of the year. Oh, yeah. So I'm backing him. But yeah, I mean, I put a ten dollar bonus bet on him, and a far extra five dollars. I want you a fifty on him. Could pay for Saturday. <laughs> Could pay for Go any to setup. Frio tomorrow. I can't fucking wait. Oh, Arbor yeah. Benny's fucking metros. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely gonna end up in metros <laughs> tomorrow. Know, tomorrow. I'm gonna hate you for it. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Should we I'd um? Stop. No. Okay. Oop. On the topic of tickets, right? Yeah. Me and Sean on the lawn. We got a Kid Leroy tickets, right? We got pre sale, right? Yeah. What do you mean? Pfft? Kid Leroy sucks. No, dude. he doesn't, cunt. Anyway, keep going. He is a fucking. No, he's not. He doesn't suck. He's got a couple good songs. A couple, but I don't. I don't like his he's, whole he's album. A, he's not my vibe. Okay, good for you. Have a cry. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Anyway, you're anyway, saying, you bought okay, tickets. So, so Sean and I bought pre sale tickets. Right? I got standing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so they're 130 something, right? I was like, that's pretty good for a massive act like that. It's gonna sell out. You have two options. You can get hard copy or just the digital copy. Hard copy, $20 for two tickets to get delivered to your house, right? $10 each. Yeah. Oh I like, okay, I don't need that, right? Digital, $7.20 SMS delivery. For both? For, no, f- for each. each. $14 <laughs> something. How does... how? What the fuck? It's not 2002. You don't pay for every text you send, bro. $7.20 each. Yeah, and I don't get it till the 2nd of May. You don't get it? I don't on... get my ticket till two weeks before the event. Are you fucking I mad? I went to go add it to my wallet and I had a look and it said tickets get released 2nd of May for Perth. Are you fucking mad? What the fuck? Yeah, it's $7.20, criminal, bro. 20, bro. That's criminal. That's how Ticket Tech make their money or Ticketmaster, who the fuck it is. That is fucked up. $7.20 SMS delivery. Why don't they just take a fucking percentage off the top of the ticket sales? 
they probably do get it cut. So they're getting the they probably get getting a cut percentage no off what. the top of the ticket sales, and they're getting the delivery fee. Yeah, fuck off. That's Seven dollars twenty. Oh, I've never seen it that expensive. Bro. That's fucking join up. with Telstra, bro. It's fucking free talking text for your month with prepaid plan. <laughs> Seven dollars twenty. Idiots. Fuck off. I wouldn't have paid it, bro. I would. How if, was I meant to get the ticket? If then? I'd have gone through. I wouldn't have paid it just to see that delivery. If I would have been like, "Nah, fuck, I'm not going." I must. Have, I should have got a hard dollar. Fuck, hard fucking. Yeah, ticket. but you probably would have been better off. Yeah, I could have kept the ticket. Mm. Not keep it on my fucking wallet on my iPhone. So mad. That's bro. fucked. Seven dollars twenty. That's fucked. That's pretty. Still fucked got up. it anyway. Doesn't matter. <laughs> that's how they get you. That pissed me off. Yeah, that, that's annoying. That's very Look annoying. He's fucking good singer cunt. He sucks. Next topic. Fuck you. No, nah, he doesn't suck. I'm joking. Um, but anyway, all right. So we um answer some questions. He's got a good looking missus. He does. Yeah, he does. He's not getting that. We'll probably go to jail. Actually, speaking of good looking people, mm-hmm. we had a question come in that we talked about before yeah, prior from, to this. Um, good friend Jana. Jana Clark. Okay. Yeah. Um, our celeb crushes. Is mm-hmm. that the question? Yep. Who's your celeb crush? My celeb crush. Celeb. My celeb. <laughs> Drumsticks. <laughs> 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 um, my favorite celeb crush is Jewel Lipa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's either that. I don't or know. I don't know what it's. About, but to be honest, I know she's always been like. Just I've always loved her. Yeah. Um. But after seeing those uh those awards nights, mm. Kendall was looking. Fucking fine, bro. Mm. Whole, I've never been a big fan of Kendall. Like, she's obviously a very attractive woman. Just never, like, everyone's like, she Kendall. is bro. beautiful. Bro. Bruv. She was looking better than Megan Fox. <laughs> bro, you don't get me started. <sighs> Megan Fox looked like a jam, bro. Kendall was fucking on one, bro. She was looking fucking perfect. Mm. Bro. And her, her and M Radder. Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> so yours is Jewel Leaper? Yeah, Jewel Leaper. Okay, well, here's mine, right? So when I was a teenager, like when I was a young bloke in high school, Cara Delavan used to be my number one. She was my absolute everything. I loved her with all my heart. She was the number one girl I wanted to marry. I wanted to give her my children. I wanted her to be my wife. Okay? You, I loved her so much. Did you come for the first time thinking about her? Uh, no, because I am a respectful young man and I just worshipped her. I never did anything like that. <laughs> Liar. <Lyle, sorry. laughs> anyway, um, so Cara Delavan used to be my uh, number one. But now, now these days, she's, she's not really hitting the barrier these days. Can you say she's a lesbian? She is a lesbian. Okay, yeah, nice. yeah, she's a lesbian. But I like, I liked it when she had the long hair. She had like, she was like a Tumblr girl, like a Tumblr girl. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um. But now, I don't actually know who my celeb crush is. I actually don't know. I actually don't have one. There's a lot of. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of females out there that's like Madeline Klein, like you said, Kendall Jenner, um, Dua Lipa's sexy, um, Kylie, Kylie. Like there's so many. Okay, but if if you had to pick one and you're actually gonna get married to the celeb, can I can I say like an like a model? If she's a celebrity, she's got more than a million followers on Instagram. Karina Kopf. That sucks. She's so hot. Yeah, no, no, she definitely is. But that sucks. If I was to pick one girl, she is perfect. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Fair enough. She has everything. Got money. She's got so much money. (laughs) Um. She's got a banging bod. She's gorgeous. She's the most perfect. Actually, I have something to add. What's, it, what's add. her personality like, though? Well, from what I've seen, she sounds like a cool chick. Okay. But anyway, um, last week we were talking about turn on and turn offs. Yeah. I forgot to mention my number one turn on, pretty eyes. I have an a genuine eye fetish. I have a genuine eye fetish. If, dude, I swear to God, like. It can't be your number one turn on if you No, dude. It. If if I see a girl, she's gorgeous, whatever, and she has the most prettiest eyes I've ever seen in my life, I'm instantly yours. Instantly. What if she's... I'm not going to say it, actually. <laughs> looks-wise. I'm talking looks-wise. Looks wise. Okay, looks-wise, yeah. I'm tr- straight away drawn to them. Straight away. I love a good pair of lips. Yeah? Yeah, I do like lips, too. Soft but lips. not fake lips. I fucking oh, hate Oh, no, not fake, fake lips. lips. I mean, like... You just I te- hate fake lips. Fucking soft and use... Yeah. Well, on that topic about turn on and turn off, Maddie Carl sent in 
And yes. he thinks that doesn't get appreciated a mark. Enough. Um, um, what the fuck did oh I just say? God, yeah. A mark. <laughs> oh my God, I did it again. <laughs> doesn't get appreciated, appreciated. much. We'll, we'll just go with that. Um, glasses on girls. Like yeah, the and he ones. actually, funnily enough, he sent a photo of Krunikov. He did. Um, but yeah, I know he's exactly what he means. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like that's what he said was wrong. I feel like people do. No, he's not, he's not saying that people don't say it. He said, but it doesn't get appreciated enough. Oh, yeah. I feel like, I don't think I feel does. like guys froth that shit. Mm. Yeah, but I see what like, you Like, if you talk to any boy about a turn on, they, I don't think they'd say glasses straight up. Mm. True. I'm just going to say like, you know, just going to like say titties, ass, mm. body. Are you an ass or tits, man? Tits. Really? Mm. I, I like both. I'm a bunda boy. I like, I think, I've always loved titties. I'm a bunda boy. Really? I am a bunda boy. Nice. I'm a sucker for hips. Hips? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah I love hips. I love thick girls. I love them thick, bro. Yeah. I love all girls. Uh, you know what? If they're nice to me and they give good head, I'll fucking nay. <laughs> <laughs> give good head? <laughs> <laughs> nah. If any nah. chick gives me attention. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a bit of attention this week. Cool chick if you're watching. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not go into it, mate. You're making right. me blush. Um, yeah, I'm going to say... Right now, my celeb crush, probably Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> if I had to pick Can't one. You if changing, I had to pick you're one. You're changing it every five seconds, no, but, bro. No, you're I said Krina Cop, but you said it wasn't a, sh- a, was a shit one. You said it was a shit one. You're a whore. We've been talking about this way too long. Anyway, okay. all women are beautiful. Next question. Let me get my phone out. Fucking whore. <sighs> all right. We'll talk about the Perth scene. For anyone over east. Yeah. So, if you ever come over here... Got asked, uh, best clubs slash pubs in Perth, right? Now, obviously, from people that have listened a lot of times, they should know that we love Frio. Yeah. So, I'm going to say my favourite. I love Frio because they've got the pub, the pub clubs kind of vibe. Mm. You know, you, you, you got your normal music and, you know, it's a pub kind of feel like. So, I'm going to have to say Benny's. Is your favourite? One of my favourites. and Arbor. Really? I love Arbor. I love going to Arba, going to Benny's. Yeah. Well, I feel like... But you have to be fucking drunk at Benny's before it gets busy. Yeah, true. I feel like... Um, we had another question as well. Is Perth City safe to walk around at Fuck night? No. Shit? It's not. I feel like if it was safer, um, Perth would be a lot... I'd be going to Perth a lot more. Because there's so many more options in Perth. Neither, nowhere's safe. Yeah. Like well, bro, Frio's Frio is a bit more... Yeah, on the main strip of you, Frio, you'll yeah, be more yeah, yeah, safe yeah, than yeah, Northridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, if you go into metros, you walk out, there's at least six, seven cops at the front. Oh, yeah. So the whole like, main strip's full with them. Yeah. So, I feel like overall, Frio's a lot safer, but if Perth was safer, there's so many more options that you've got. You've got Magnet Magnet House. You've got fucking... Brass Monkey. Brass Monkey, Rapture. I mean, you've got Paramount, it's shit old, but... Yeah, Club Humble. Um, Humble, you got Henry Summers, you got Universal Bar. Henry Summer, okay, that has to be one of my favorite as well. Yeah, that's dope. I do good love spot. Henry Summer. Yeah, yeah. Good that's spot. what I love. I love that kind. Of, like as I've gotten older now, I love. Like if I'm gonna go out, I love that Henry Summer, that Arbor, that just like a yeah, yeah, a more formal kind of place. Yeah, yeah. Newport's okay if you don't want Newport's not as full on as Benny's. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. shout out to the Federal Hotel. Yeah, you Woo. love the Feddy. We do love the Fed. The boys love the espresso martinis there. Not a big fan of them, but... Okay, so I've got to say something, right? Mm. From going to the city to Frio, the LinkedIn iced tea... Well, not LinkedIn, sorry. The iced tea cocktails. Long Island iced tea. The Long Island iced tea ones. Like, I'm not a big cocktail man, but my mates, they love the iced tea ones. Mm. I had them in Perth, right? And I was like, these are crap, right? Went to Frio, so much better. I don't know if they added more sugar and shit in there, Where'd bro. you get them from? Fucking um, Benny's and Benny's. Arbor. They were both banging, bro. Yeah, but Arbor's I at, dope. I had them at Brass and they're fucking... Mm. Arbor has um, a lychee cocktail that's there. Yeah. I'm the biggest slut for a lychee. Like, I love lychees. Mm. They have a lychee cocktail. It is fucking Don's and they've got full lychees down the bottom. So good. Arbor's just fucking dope, bro. Yeah, I was it's got cool good spot. chips as well. Chips, banging chips. They're good Sunday sash there, actually. Yeah, apparently it's fucking busy. Mm. Me and Jamo ran into Nat Fife there once. Kicked the footy with him in the car park. <laughs> took a hanger on him. 
<laughs> kick the footy with him. We I did. haven't kicked the footy in that fight. We actually did. It's fucking wild. Janita's but related I'm... to him. Janita? Mm. Really? They're from Lake Grace. Oh, of course. Yeah. Cool name, Janita. And it's spelled Juanita. Fuck Janita. <laughs> but yeah, basically, you're answering your question about being safe. I don't think it's safe at all. If you're with a big crew, you feel more comfortable. For sure. Because like when we went out on Friday, fucking... We literally got into a fucking fight. You know, hardly, but fucking... I mean, we got into an altercation. I wouldn't say If fight. we didn't stop stone, we got, got got into a fight. Yeah. That was fucked up. Perth, you don't want to be... You didn't want to be in Took Perth Took your shirt off. Week. I was like, what are you fucking doing, bro? Yeah. Take your shirt off, bro. I'm not fucking scared to take your shirt off. Fucking... You got titties, not fucking pegs. Mm. Fucking nah. crackhead. But anyway, we All move. Right. We move. All right, we move on. What do you got? <laughs> Jordan asks What's your opinion on the term You're not a man So you had a man <laughs> Well I'm telling you If you ever kiss one of your best mate blokes You're fucking oh, shit mate, cut, bro. I, I always kiss the boys I, I love kissing the lads Bruh. Yeah But <laughs> I don't know about his fucking I don't know about I having a man counts. Does it? Kissing the kissing the fellas, you basically had a man. True. Like I fucking own you, bro. If you like, if you're a lad and you don't get around the boys like that, I find it very strange. I reckon they're hiding being gay. Mm. I've always said that. Yeah. Because like you, because like I feel like, I'm not saying like they are. They could be really homophobic. Yeah, true. You do you, but like I think like some of the time, the first thing I'm gonna think. You want to kiss one of your best mates in the whole wide world that has a girlfriend, mm. and you have like say if you had a girlfriend, they had a, well, I'm sorry, let's say he had a girlfriend, right? And you get drained, and, like you kiss the homies, bro. You slap him on the ass, you do all that shit, right? And then he was like, "I'm not doing it." Homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am, bro. What are you, homosexual? I'm homosexual. Um. Anyway, no, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, if he was like, no, nah, I'm not kissing one of the homies, I feel like he's trying to fight that he's trying not to be gay. Hmm. Not always the case, but I see what you mean, for sure. Oh, that's what it's, that's just what I see. Yeah. You could either be really homophobic or you're trying to fight that you you don't want to be gay. Hmm. Yeah. I'll fucking lie. I'll fucking tongue the boy. But I... You tongue the boy? Nah, no way. I haven't tongued the boy. Fuck no. Um, a few kisses. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jordan, you trying to tell us something, by the way? I think he's just trying Don't to... Don't expose me, bro. I go to the gym with him. <laughs> we do go to the steam room. Jordan's a nice bloke. He's a good bloke. Good bloke. All right, you have another, th- you have another thing in there? Oh, actually, we had another question sent in from Finn. Seven in. Seven in. Seven in, Seven Finn. Seven inches. Seven inches. <laughs> um, he said... What are your thoughts on Perth nightclub slash bass scene? I feel um, we were talking about the nightclub scene, but we'll talk about the bass scene a little bit. We will talk about this next week as well. Yes. Do, we, should we tell the people who we're going on next I, week? I don't think we're going to tell them who, but we do have two boys coming on. Yeah. Coming next week. We are going to smash smashing out some episodes as I am going away. Yeah. So we're going to smash a double episode. Mm-hmm. And one of them is going to be us and one of them is going to have two DJs on from the Perth scene. So we'll ask them. So we'll go lightly into this before we end the episode. Um... I think from going into it, right, like from, okay, so I'm going to tell you straight now, when I started, right, I like just went to Amber and I loved it, right, and I started meeting DJs. Yeah. A lot of the DJs are really nice people, but you get, like, there's barely minimal in Perth that are fucking fuckheads, right, but there are a few. Mm. I think they're top shit and they, you know, think they own 100%, own place, right? yeah. yeah. Um, I do get a lot of complaints about, you know, I'll get people like get me a set. Like I can't get you a set. You need to grind for that, right? And people think it's who you know, not like what you know. Yeah. I do think a little bit is that. Yeah. See, so, okay, so me, a lot of it was like you know I did know Damo, but only through going to this field, I only yeah. met him outside of Amber. Mm. You know, and I actually presented him a mix, and he was like, and he listened to it, and he was like, this is good. You know, I do think like it does help getting bigger sets, but also if you prove yourself. Mm. It's a bit 50-50 Because a lot of the things Like I get a lot of complaints About oh If it's just like Who you know It's going to help a lot If you know that person But I'm telling you If you know one person In the DJ scene they And you send a mix out you got And they'll show each other Because everyone Wants more people to mix Yeah I've said it before Like 
I said it before, I'll say it again. Yeah, say it again, bro. Like, you know, if you can mix, bro, like, don't be complaining if you shit mix and you're like, I'm not getting a set. It's because yeah. you mix shit. Yeah, facts. And we will tell you, like, okay, you need to fix this and this. Mm. Some people don't want to listen. Some people do want to listen. Yeah. It's all about the grind, okay? I didn't get my first set for three years, right? Mm. And I, I got offered it two years before that. Mm. Okay, it's all about grinding and getting comfortable and knowing what you want to mix, right? Mm. So, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a heavy DJ. That's what I want to do. And sometimes people don't know what they want to do and expect to just get thrown any time and just play whatever. Yeah. I feel like people are... I feel like people are, like, more inclined to ask for things to be given to them more than... Mm. So they don't have to grind. You can tell who people are music-wise from the start. Yeah. You can either get people, like, really humble about it. They're like, yeah, look, I'll play whenever. Like, I'll... If I get a set, I get a set, you know, like, I'll keep putting mixes out. You get people like, oh... Bro, know. that's Nathan. Yeah, Nathan... Bro, Nathan yeah. is a perfect example of that. Yeah. He doesn't... Complain. He doesn't go whinging about not yeah. getting sets. Like, he... For this filth thing, the day party, mm. he was telling me, he's like, oh, I'm kind of, kind of bummed out I didn't get a set, and but, but I'm going to put in a mix for the DJ comp. Yeah. So he did that. And it's a fucking sick mix. Yeah. I highly like, reckon he'll get put on. Yeah. He's 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 fucking grunt, dude. He's good. He's good. I love Nathan to yeah, bits, good. bro. He's yeah. The th- like this time's going to come for sure. Yeah, it, it will come. It just takes time. I was just, you know, I think with me is that there's not a lot of heavy people out there. Yeah. It's me, Hudson, Jay, you know, like I would class us as like and like Aiden like unheard. Mm. We're heavy people, right? Yeah. And you know, I think a lot of it that if you if you're gonna be a heavy mixer, you need to be a fast double, triple mixer. Yeah. Um, you know, and then I think a lot of Perth's rhythm. Well, yeah, well, I think I, I would is, I yeah. would say about ninety percent of Perth is flat out rhythm, and I think you won't get noticed as much rhythm if you don't produce. Yeah, facts. That's why Dane's blowing up now? You know, Dane. It's been coming a long time for Dane. Mm. I've known Dane for a few years now, and his time has come, and he's been grinding, bro. His music's getting better. Mm. You know he's been grinding, and now he's getting main stage slots. Mm. So it doesn't come in. A, it doesn't come in two sets. Yeah, it comes in fucking. You know you got to keep grinding. Yeah, if you want that main slot, bro, you've got to keep grinding. Mm. For sure. And you know, um, shout out to Dane and all them boys because they've been fucking grinding, bro. Yeah. You know, Jordan Shocks, been grinding, oh, dude. Yeah, that guy. Fucking hell, he's on yeah, Van, like Jaden Vanham. Vanham, bro. I remember Vanham was playing at five eight four four five a.m., bro. Now look at him, he's getting banged. Jaden's fucked, bro. He's so good. Yeah, he's I was actually good. listening to his mix on the way here. I remember his first set. I remember his first set. Well, was that a society? No, it was that filth on the side room stage. I saw him at society. I think it was a society. Is that what the old... Yeah. On Friday night at Humble? Yeah. Every yeah. second Friday? Yeah. Yeah, I saw him play with Flick. It was like 20... Fuck, 2018, 2019. Mm-hmm. They went off. Yeah, they've got, like, they're big DJs, bro. They've got mm. plates. They've got their own tunes. Mm. That's what people want to see. another one, dude. Flick's... Flick's very underrated. He's I don't know how he hasn't blown... He has blown up in Australia. But he needs... He There's needs a couple plates that I would genuinely die for that he has. That he, all of his tracks, bro. Mm. I swear Finn, to God. Finn and Banksy, bro. Fucking insane. Finn, bro. Finn... His, his last EP was, was fucking fucked. insane, bro. It was number one on Beatport. Yeah, it's fucking. It was good, fucked. Bro. It's fucking good. Yeah, and you know, fucking, you know, Tanner's catching up, bro. He's fucking. Mm-hmm. Tanner's. In, they're both. In, I will not. Them be, two as a duo, really good. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they tour in the US. Yeah, when everything opens up. Oh, again, for I sure. Know. Yeah, for sure. I remember Finn's first set. I was at Finn's first set at Amber, mm. and his little eighteen-year-old boy. And I remember <laughs> his music from. I remember his first song I heard was Hey Arnold to now. If I showed you Hey Arnold to now, bro, you'd be like, holy fuck. Yeah, his sound design's crazy. Yeah, no. Nah, I really I really like his stuff. Yeah, no. Nah. He was actually the first person I bought plates off ever. Nice. I bought some fucking sick tracks off him Let's go. a while ago. But yeah. And they're all genuine Wild. people, bro. Yeah, all of these blokes are hell nice. Like, Look, I'm going to say about the bass scene, right? A lot of people try and say that we're, you know, like people like DJs like me or producers mm. out there. They, they, they try and say we're like, you know, we're not talking to them or like we're cunts. Because like generally, like if you if you see us at Humble, like you, we don't flat out want to talk to you for half an hour about music. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I could be wrong. That's what I don't want to do, right? Because we love meeting people, mm. right? I went to a DMB event. Someone was like, oh, you're Vinny. I watched you play not long ago. 
and I fucking felt overwhelmed. I was like, this is really cool, right? And you know, but then you got the people that produce like Finn and shit. You know, I don't know what Finn wants, but like a, a lot of the time, they don't want to talk the whole night out in the smokies area about music. They actually mm. want to have a genuine pat with you, yes, like, but, chat with well, you. They're going out to have fun, you know. They're, I could be wrong though. I'm just people. saying, like a lot. I've heard before people were like they want to have a genuine chat with people. They want to mm. be. You know, just he- hearing him suck up to you for fucking yeah, 30 minutes. I see where you're coming from, for sure. But in terms of the bass scene in general, it's fucking hectic here. It is hectic, and I think Perth is a very good bass scene. We, bro. Drum and bass-wise, filth-wise, you never any fights. Everyone's so friendly. You bump into someone, it's like, sorry, bro. Like, nah, like, you're all good. You go through. I feel like the sh- a showcase to how good our talent is here. Just look at the Filth Day event lineup. Yeah, if, if just look at that lineup and tell me that we don't have talent in Perth. Like, yeah, it's exactly. fucking crazy. Crazy Mental. Lineup. And there's still other people that's not on that lineup are just as talented. Yeah, 100%. It's fucked. And there's so many up and comers too. Like, Yeah, bro. Wild. Hopefully me one day. Oh, shit. But same but with anyway. the drum and bass event, bro. Mm. Insane fucking insane, bro. It is insane. Yeah, I think the bass scene is fucking awesome here. It is. I reckon it it's is. fucking All our nice. events always go off. Yeah. Perth, like, everyone says Perth is one of the best places in the world. Yeah. We did sure. go a bit longer than I wanted. Huh? We went a bit longer than I wanted. That's right. But we'll talk to the boys about it next time. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, like we said, we've got a couple of DJs coming on next week. So we'll um. We'll go deeper on that. Um. Yeah, I mean, do you have anything else you want to add? Or do, should we just I cap it off? I did have something. I mean, if you've got to be somewhere at four thirty, it's four oh seven now. Yeah, I told her four. Okay, well, we'll save it then. Yeah, we'll, we'll save, save it. it. Yeah, because um, we'll do a double. Oh, next fucking week. hell, bro! Yeah, I've got to say next week. We'll bring all it right, up next week. Right, we'll bring it up next week. Yeah. All right, so here you go. Here's your song of the week from Vinny. No, you go first, bro, because I'm gonna have to lose it, bro, and then you're gonna have to end it because I'm gonna go nuts. Fuck. All right. Don't go too nuts because I gotta edit. Um. I actually don't know. Um. What was, what was it last week? What did I pick last week? I picked Spins last week, didn't I? All right. Let's go Fair Trade. Jake and Travis Scott from the new album. Fair Trade. That's my song of the week this week. All right. I'm going to clip this out. I'm going to put it on our story. I'm going to tag him in it, right? <laughs> if you have not listened to the new Skepsis, bro, lose my mind. I'm fucking telling you right now, you need to fucking listen to it. It's the most insane fucking tune I've ever heard in my whole entire fucking life. Is that Skepsis like- is the fucking king, bro. <laughs> fucking listen to it. Listen to it. I'm fucking telling you. Lose your mind. Skepsis featuring Window Kid. I'm fucking telling you. It is insane, bro. It is the most insane fucking tune I've ever heard, bro. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that'll do it for this week's episode. Um, hit the socials. You know what to do. Um, we've gotten heaps of love on TikTok over the last week or so. We've gained like 250 followers. Um, so yeah, keep it up. Um, plenty more content to come and we shall see you guys next week fucking insane